Hey guys and welcome back to my channel here in this video I will be doing a watching work on this spring nail art set and if you guys are new to my channel my name is Jess and I do tips and no videos so like I said here in this video I will be showing you guys how I created this set so starting off I am going in with my Zule glue with my adhesive and I'm also going in with the wax pencil going in with the SS12 so on the pinky all I'm going to be doing is applying Swarovski crystals around the cuticle so I'm first going in with the SS12 I'm going in with SS10s on each side and then SS6s on each side and then ss4 is on each side and i will be doing this to the pinky and the pointer finger and on the other hand i did the same thing but just like on opposite fingers if that makes sense so i will make sure to also link down below all the products that i use so make sure to go check it out and also while you guys are there make sure to check out any of my social media as well as any discount codes as well as any of my latest videos will also be linked down below so make sure to go check it out if you guys haven't and i do apologize if you guys see that sometimes it's a little bit blurry just because i was trying to get her in and out y'all i was on a time crunch but i really 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 wanted to record her stuff for you guys because obviously i did do some nail art which i cannot wait to show you guys to see how i did it but as you can see i'm going in with the pointer finger and doing the exact same thing and then at the end i will be going ahead and spraying my activator and after applying my bling as you can see here i'm going in with my liner brush i'm going in with the koopa gel to create a french because i will be doing some sugar nails which i will be doing on the thumb the pointer finger and the pinky so as you can see here i'm creating the french tip with the top coat and as you can see, I'm creating my French. And once I'm done creating my French, I'm going to be going ahead and applying the glitter. And I did get the glitter from Daily Charm, which if you guys haven't yet, make sure to go check out that video. It was a new glitter that I recently got and I thought it was perfect, perfect, perfect. So as you can see, I'm just going in with this little spoon and applying it. And you will see that with my fingers, I'm going ahead and pushing the glitter up towards the nail. So that way there's no like access. And I'm just simply applying it. And you will see that I do go in like a couple times to fill in any spots that i missed or just didn't stay on to so as you can see here i'm just going ahead and applying it pushing it up with my finger and curing it for 60 seconds underneath the lamp and once that's in curing with a nail brush i'm just simply brushing it down taking off any of the access and like i said going in with my liner brush again to fill up any spots that i feel like need glitter so i'm just going ahead and doing that applying the glitter again and then curing it for 60 seconds underneath the lamp so once that's done curing as you can see i'm brushing it off as you can see and once i'm happy with it i just leave it and then i move on to the other finger so here as you can see i'm going to be doing it to the pinky and the pointer like i did mention and another thing that i do want to mention i spent four hours on this set which definitely comment down below if you guys think that's like okay or just your opinions obviously i did do some nail art i did a full set so definitely make sure to comment down below your thoughts and opinions because i would love 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 to hear them i want your guys' feedback but as like i did mention i will be doing the exact same thing to the pinky and the pointer finger <laughs> But before I do go ahead and carry it in, I will be going ahead and applying top coat to the thumb. So just like the base part of it because you obviously you want them to adhere and she did want them glossy. So as you can see, I'm just going ahead and applying that. So once I'm done doing the other fingers, I will also be applying the top coat to them as well. Reply to me, I don't want to spend time fighting. We got no 
time and that's why I need a one that has got an energy in my head One more time when I go I have power to say no hold on to me I need a one that has got an energy in my head One more time when I go I have power to say no hold on to me So once that's done curing, I will be going ahead and using all of these gels, which I will make sure to link down below. I'm also going to be using my liner brush, also going in with some dotting tools as well as another smaller brush. And that's pretty much it. That's really all I used. And obviously, I did use my scales. So this is everything that I will be going ahead and using and obviously my nail lamp. So to start off, the first thing that I did was do like the little swirls and i'm pretty sure that you guys have seen the design i feel like this design has been really trending right now so this was my first time doing it and it was my first time drawing butterflies so like i said definitely make sure to comment down below your thoughts and opinions but here i'm going in with the purple and my liner brush and i'm going to be creating just some lines on the side and then i'm going in with the yellow and doing it on the right and then doing the exact same little line design as well and carrying it for 60 seconds underneath the lamp And after that's then curing, as you can see, I'm going in with the white and my liner brush and doing another line on the left side. And then I'm kind of curving it as well. And then you will see that I do also go ahead and go in with my dotting tool, as you can see here, going in with the white again. And I'm going to be doing two dots because I am going to be drawing the little sparkles. So I'm drawing one right in between the purple and the white. And then another one at the top, like right on top of the purple on the right side. And then I'm going to be going ahead and curing that. And then after that, I'm going in with my my small liner brush and creating the lines to create the little sparkles so all i'm doing is creating like four lines on each um you know side corner whatever you guys want to call it to create that little sparkle and then after i will be going ahead and curing it for 60 seconds underneath the lamp And after that's in curing, here on the ring finger, I'm going to be going in with my liner brush and the pink gel polish. And I'm going to be starting up at the cuticle and then kind of giving it like a curve to it, to the line. And I'm going to be creating some more swirls. So curing that and then I'm going to be going in with my white, doing the exact same thing underneath the pink and just doing the line and kind of curving it. And then after I'm done doing this, I'm going to be going ahead and curing it for 60 seconds as well. And after that's done curing, I'm going to be doing the exact same thing, but with the blue now. So the first thing that I do want to mention, if you guys are doing stuff like this, I recommend to do the background first and not focus so much to like on the butterflies only because i was gonna do the butterflies first but then i was like no i think i'd rather be doing the background first and then doing the butterflies because i feel like you kind of see where everything goes but after that's in curing i'm gonna cure it and then i'm gonna go back in with the white to give it more of a pigmentation so i'm just going ahead and doing another layer you don't need it but i just kind of wanted to add it just so that way it could look a little bit more like of a pop so i'm just going ahead and doing that and carrying it for 60 seconds underneath the lamp and after 
after that done curing same thing with the blue i just kind of wanted it to be a little bit more pigmented i feel like with the first layer it looked kind of sheer and i felt like it looked like that because of the nude background but i don't know definitely comment down below your thoughts and opinions i love that i did put a second layer because i feel like it looked a little bit better and more of a pop and then after i'm done doing that i'm going to be doing my little sparkles so i did one at the top left and then one at the bottom right and then once i'm done doing that as you can see here on the um middle finger i'm gonna start to sketch out where i want the butterfly and how big i want it so as you can see here i just kind of like traced it just to um see kind of how big i wanted it and then here on the ring finger i'm doing the exact same thing as you could see And once that's done curing, as you can see here, I'm going to go in with the pink and apply that to the inner part. And then I'm going to go in with the blue and apply that to the outer part of the butterfly. As you can see here, because I will be blending these two colors together to create kind of like an ombre inside the butterfly. So I'm just going ahead and applying them. And once I'm done applying them, I'm going to be going ahead and curing it in the lamp for 60 seconds. And you will see that I do go in with multiple layers of this to create that look that I want. So as you can see here, once it's done curing, I'm going to go back in with the pink and and start to like blend it outward towards the blue and i'm going to be doing the exact same thing while it's still wet only because it makes it so so much easier to blend so as you can see here i'm just kind of perfecting it and just starting to blend it all together and i believe i did like a good couple layers of this just so that way it did look good once to once i liked it to my liking because at first one thing that i did notice it looked kind of like not blended so i had to blend it a little bit more and that's kind of where i feel figured out how to do the other finger and do it a little bit faster because as you could see i feel like i applied too much blue and then i applied too much pink and just like that so just everything to your liking so as you can see here that's just simply what i'm doing to this butterfly here And once I'm done, I'm going to be going ahead and curing it for 60 seconds. And then I'm going to go in with my liner brush and go in with the black. And I'm going to start to outline the butterfly. So as you can see here, I'm starting at the bottom, creating the outline of it. So that way I could start to do my little dots and just add a little bit more detail to the butterfly. So as you can see, I'm just kind of outlining it. And then once I'm done doing that, I will be going ahead and curing it for 60 seconds underneath the lamp.
once I'm done, like I said, I cured it. And then here I'm going to go back in with the blue to fix my little mistake that I did there. Adding blue and pink and then blending that little part together so that way it looks nice. Like if it didn't do anything wrong. So I'm just simply doing that and then curing that for 60 seconds underneath the lamp. And please ignore my head. I kind of got a little bit in the views. So I do apologize for that. But as you can see, I'm just kind of perfecting it here as you can see. And then once it's done curing, I'm going to be going in with the black and starting to do the middle part of the butterfly. I completely forgot. I remember they taught this, this in like middle school or even elementary. I kind of forget the parts of it, but I'm doing the middle part of it. So creating like the little head, curing that, and then I'm going to be going ahead and doing the little antenna. So I'm just kind of going in with my little brush and creating a, just creating a little line just so that way that could be its little antenna. Like and I said, I will be going ahead and adding little details. So I'm going to go in with that same brush, going in with the black and just creating two little lines like on each um little wing. So just like I said, to give it character, just adding two at the top and the bottom. And then after that's done curing, I will be going ahead and doing the little dots. So then after this, I'm going to go in with my little dotting tool, going in with the white and creating the little dots on the outer part of the butterfly so just creating this at the very top and bottom corner of it and just creating like little different size dots on it and then this is how it looks like and obviously i will be going ahead and carrying it under 60 seconds underneath the lamp and as you can see, after I'm done curing that, I'm going to be going ahead and applying my top coat. So she did want them glossy. I'm going to be going ahead and applying it. Definitely comment down below your thoughts and opinions on how I did for this first one. Because honestly, I feel like I did a really good job, which I also do want to mention. And then here on the ring finger, I'm going to do my little sparkles. But I do want to mention, at first, I was not going to do the set at all. I did not feel comfortable doing it on her because... First of all, she did want like a same day appointment. So I told her that I couldn't do it and then we could do butterflies, like butterfly stickers. And she was like, okay with that. But she did push me to actually do it, which I might include a little screenshot. I don't know, but you will see here as I'm saying this to you guys, because honestly, I wasn't confident enough, but then she did give me that little push. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna just do it. So then here on the ring finger, I'm gonna be doing the exact same thing that I did to the other butterfly, but to this one, I am gonna do this one yellow and purple so the inner part is going to be yellow and then the outer part is going to be purple so i'm going to be doing the exact same thing going in with the yellow first carrying that underneath the lamp then here i am going to go in with another layer of yellow and then you will see that i do go in with the purple and i do start blending it to create kind of the like ombre so that way it could be nicely blended so as you can see here i'm going in with the yellow cleaning my brush and then going in with the purple and applying that to the outer part of the butterfly as you can see here after i was happy with my blending i went ahead and cured it and then here as you can see i did apply more yellow in the middle and that's only because since it is more of like a pastel yellow i wanted it to be a little bit more pigmented so that's just simply what i did and then you will see that i do go ahead and go in with my liner brush and go in with the black and then i am going to start to outline it as you could see here
So then I took a little break here and then I cured it and then I went back in with my brush to finish aligning it as you can see here in with again with the black same thing and after I'm done aligning it I will be going ahead and curing it for 60 seconds underneath the lamp again. After that sun curing now i will be going ahead and creating the middle part as you can see here so i'm going to be creating like its body so i'm just going to bring my brush down to create that middle part and create the little tail end at the end as you can see here same thing going in with my black like i did mention and i'm going to be kind of creating it like give it a little bit more definition with the black as you can see here like i did bring it up a bit to fill in the little bottom part and i'm just gonna fix any outer part that i need to fix or i just kind of want to give it more definition to because like you guys do need to remember you kind of want to leave it not too thick but not too thin because you still want to add those little dots so just like i said to give it a little bit more definition and then also i'm going ahead and bringing in like the outer part inward and then here going in with my dotting tool going in with the black just creating the little antennas and then with my brush bringing it down which i do regret not doing to the other one but it's okay it still looks fine since it was kind of like a side view so not too mad about it but i did go ahead and cure it and then after this i'm going to be going ahead and going in with the white and the dotting tool to create the little dots as you can see here And once I'm done creating my dots, I'm going to be going ahead and curing it. And then I'm going to go ahead and top coat it, which I did miss. I'm not sure if it like didn't record it or what. But I'm going to go ahead and go in with the cuticle oil from Bell's Beauty Supply in vanilla and apply that to the nails. And this is the final result. Definitely make sure to comment down below your thoughts and opinions. And also do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe. And do not forget to check out the description for any of my videos, any social media, as well as any discount codes, as well as any of the products that I use. And do not forget to turn on the bell and see you guys in the next one.